Now, also, we want to keep three things in mind with the sales tax. The first thing to keep in mind is you, you got to turn on the sales tax, which we'll do down here in the taxes tab on the left. If you're in the business view, you also have a taxes tab uh, on the left as well. Once the sales tax is turned on and set up, the system needs to know whether or not the sales tax is going to be applicable or not. The primary thing that will give the indication there is the items that we set up last time, the products and services. That's under the sales tab and then the products and services and the business view. It's under the get paid and paid tab and the products and services. So we set these up before. For us, we're going to say that the inventory items are typically subject to sales tax. The service items are not going to be subject to sales tax. So once we turn the sales tax on, we'll have to verify that there's properly recording the items having a taxable component or not. And then the third thing we have to think about are the customers. Meaning, for example, uh, is the customer subject to a, to what sales tax is the customer going to be subject to? Uh, and if we have multiple sales tax applicable and we might have some customers that aren't subject to sales tax at all. So we could then go to the customer and kind of override the primary item that's going to indicate sales tax, which will be the inventory items.